Color printing is a game changer. It really makes your prints stand out. But what if you're going for a look with a lot more depth? Can you make a print that has both color and embossing, that doesn't take forever to print, and doesn't look like this? Stick around to find out. Printing with color makes all the difference. It can really make something pop and avoids having to worry about combining separate colored parts afterward, not to mention if they're even going to fit together. Adding color to the bottom layer is already straightforward and gives a great result. But what if you want an embossed look? Can it be done in a way to get a good looking result as well? Here is my random test sample for today and I know I can get good results already printing face down and having it completely flat. So can I also print face down with color but with an embossed text? I think I can but it might not look so good in the recesses. Embossing is just bridging to the slicer and normally for bridging the ends are connected to the existing part. But that's not the case in Bamboo Studio. It seems like it doesn't understand how to treat bridges when we also have the color change. So here's a sample without color and it bridges perfectly fine. Instead of that though we have this concentric extrusion pattern and when that's printed it gives us a really nice artistic result. So first Let's see if we can use the color change by layer height option. I think this is going to be better. The outside walls will also turn white part way up and I don't want that. So I think to fix this, what we need to do is take the model and extrude a very thin cylinder beyond the text and not through the outside walls so that we can keep the outer walls in red. And that might just work. With this method, we need to bring in multiple STL files and that's pretty easy in Bamboo Studio because it gives the option to bring the models in as a group by referencing the part origins from your original model. And with this sliced version, it's giving exactly what we need. It's bridging correctly and the text in the logo should look much nicer. Let's get the print going and see how it turns out. All right, all the prints have finished and for comparison, I printed a version without embossing as well. But before we get to that, make sure you like and subscribe to the video if you haven't already and hit that notification bell as well so you know when the newest videos are released. All right, over to the bamboo. The flush version is nice and clean, no problems of course. And the embossed version, it's not exactly my best work. Now if you're wondering why I didn't just print this vertically instead, there are two main reasons. This is very thin, it's going to be unstable over that height. But the main reason is for time. Each color requires a color change and that consumes a huge amount of time and it also generates a lot of waste as well. Embossing on the top layer is also an option. You'll just not have that really smooth finish and flat face that you might be looking for. Now if your settings are dialed in perfectly, the surface can still look good, but it's not as good in my opinion as if it were face down. Another option is to use ironing on the top surfaces and it can look a little bit better but again the settings have to be tweaked to be exact and the surface still doesn't look perfect anyway. It can be sanded and it does leave a little bit better finish afterward with ironing on. It just takes a lot more work to get to that point. So bridging over short distances normally turns out well but bridging over long distances you're going to need to have all of your settings exact and in Bamboo Studio, it doesn't have anywhere close to as many bridging settings as Cura does. So instead, for the best result, I'll just add supports here. It still won't be perfect, but it should give a nice uniform look. And here is the result of that version. I think it's pretty good. I know it can be better. And if you have tips for better color embossing, I'm interested to know what your techniques are. My hope is that Bamboo Studio will develop bridging options a little bit more for better control on the third and second bridge layers, just like Kira has. Printing the entire model more slowly for a better result is also another option. It's just not an option that I'm interested in using. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to support this channel, you can visit my Patreon page as well. Thank you very much for all of my patrons for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.